Hey, this is Jill from Simple Daily Recipes. Today we're making the Adonis cake from the uh, My Beef With Meat cookbook. Yeah, okay, so Kara, this one's going out to you. Kara Hunter was watching the My Beef With Meat cookbook review and said, make the Adonis cake. So I made it and it turned out really good. It's an awesome recipe. All right, get out your pen and paper. Let's get busy. Okay, in a large mixing bowl, you're going to need one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then Rip says two-thirds cup pure maple syrup. I did not uh, want to use that much syrup in my recipe. Uh, I like using maple syrup where I can taste it immediately. So I substituted evaporating cane juice sugar. Just a one, I just you know one to one exchange there. Um, and then six. Okay, and then I whisked all the dry ingredients together, and then went on to, with my wet ingredients. Six tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. One tablespoon of white vinegar, or apple cider vinegars, which is what I had on hand. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and three fourths cup cold water. Okay, and then just whisk that together into a smooth batter. Now, um, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this earlier. You need to heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and get out a nine inch, uh, nine by nine inch nonstick cake pan. Okay. Uh, nine by nine. Okay. Well, anyway, so so uh, and then he doesn't recommend it, but I was kind of you know it's baking, so I was a little feared. I I wanted to make sure my cake was going to come out of the cake pan pan, so I did very 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 lightly oil my cake pan. Um, so uh, you know, I admit it. I admit it. <sighs> All right, and then uh, that's it. And then we're gonna pop that. Uh, cake batter into the oven and bake anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. I have an old oven and it only took like 25 minutes so um, depending you know if you have a super new oven it may only it may take you less time just uh, I don't know but anyways just play it safe 25 to 30 minutes and uh, and then you want to be sure to um, make sure that uh, oh and then and just cool it uh, the cake, let the cool the cake cool for just a couple of minutes, and then go ahead and turn it out onto the platter that you are going to use to serve it. Uh, it it really does pop out uh, pretty easy. Okay, um, let's move on to the frosting. Okay, for the frosting, you're going to need in your mixing bowl um, a 12 ounce package of silken tofu. Three fourths cup of dairy free semi sweet chocolate chips melted, which I popped into the microwave at 70% power and um, for one and a half minutes. Now I went one minute and then I waited and went 30, 30 seconds. That's how I did it, played it off, and that melted perfectly. And then uh, and then I tried to go old school. Oh, I'm sorry, the last thing is one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now, once I had these three together, I thought, okay, I'm just going to go old school, and I'm going to whisk this with a whisk, and I'm just going to get in there and, you know, do the old elbow grease thing, and, uh, it, nah, it didn't work. It's, uh, it, the tofu doesn't come together and blend right in, so I abandoned, um, uh, I'm, I'm impatient, and so I abandoned the bowl, and I just went ahead and transferred everything to my Vitamix blender and turned the thing up to like half the power and just let the blender do all the hard work and it didn't take very long at all until I had a very smooth uh, consistency frosting. Now the only thing I'll say for this is that once it was blended I didn't feel like the frosting was as thick as I had expected it to be, you know, like a spreadable frosting. It was more like a, a frosting that you would pour over a cake, and so that was kind of a bummer. So I end up adding uh, two and a half teaspoons of chia seeds and blended that in, and that made, f and then put it in the refrigerator. 
Uh, I took took my uh, transferred the frosting into a you know another dish and stuck it in the fridge, and I let that thicken on its own. And that was probably in the refrigerator for about half an hour or so, and it got really, really thick. I mean, I could run my finger through this frosting, and it was just like real frosting. It was absolutely awesome. So. Uh, uh, I would add that to this recipe, two and a half teaspoons of chia seeds. And, and make sure that when you're running it in the blender that, you know, it, that they get well chopped up because they will actually just disintegrate in a good blender. Okay, now, um, let's frost the cake. This is my favorite part. Okay, so the cake pan, the cake came out of the cake pan, easy peasy. Uh, and here, I, I don't even think I'm going to say anything. See how thick? the frosting is the chia seeds are uh, did a wonderful job and this stuff smears on so easy it really is pudding frosting it shouldn't even be called frosting it should be just called pudding absolutely wonderful not too sweet at all you could add um, a little bit of sweetener to it. Give it, stick your finger in it after it gets cold, or no, I mean before you put it in the fridge, stick your finger in it and see if you like it uh, the way it is. If you like a dark chocolate frosting, then then go with the way I told you. If you want it a little sweeter, um, you can add one up to one tablespoon of maple syrup. Here's a good place to put maple syrup, and that will sweeten it without it being overpowering. It'll match the cake beautifully. Oh, beautiful. Yummy. Now, the frosting actually makes about two cups, and you only need, you don't need that much frosting to put on this one layer cake. So, uh, you can use the rest of the frosting as pudding. Seriously, you could just eat it as pudding. That's what Rip said, and I totally agree. All right, so once you get that frosted, I went ahead and put the, um, put the cake in the refrigerator and put a cover on it, and... Um, and then, you know, pro I probably put it in the refrigerator for like another half hour just to keep it, you know, just so that the, the icing could um, firm up a little bit more because, you know, being out, it kind of loosens up. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we served that bad boy up. It is so good. This is a, this is a dark cake. It's beautiful. It's moist. It sticks to the roof of your mouth. You are going to want to enjoy it with a nice hot tea, maybe a little coffee, or some milk, some non-dairy milk. You know, unsweetened, of course, because you don't want any more sweet. This stuff is perfect the way it is. Absolutely beautiful. All right, there you go. Adonis Cake from My Beef With Me. If you haven't picked this book up, you need to. It's a great book. 36 points on why we should be eating a whole food plant-based diet. Absolutely awesome. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Have fun. Let me know what you think, and uh, let me know when you bake this cake. All right, bye. And thanks, Kara, for suggesting to make the recipe. Bye.